Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the cartridge on a ATLP60 turntable from Audio Technica. So this is a relatively easy process if you follow the right instructions. Um, so here we have our replacement cartridge right here because I've worn down my other one. Let's try and get a focus on that. Too close, but you can see the picture. Um, and this will be replaced with the one which I have sitting on the tone arm at the moment. So I'll cut to a closer shot of the tone arm and we'll continue from there. Okay, so here's the tone arm itself. I'll get a little bit of a zoom on there. Try and get a good focus, but you know what this camera is like. It may or may not want to. Autofocus. Okay, so here is the replacement one again. Try and focus in on that. There you go. Uh, and if we put that off to one side, we'll take we'll repair this one first. So what you want to do, if I can get a real good focus on this, I know I'm being a bit of a pain here, but okay, never mind. Ah, there you go. Okay, never mind. But you want to take off the protector which we have just like that and raise the tone arm which is can be done by the furthest button on the right get a closer shot of that and then the next thing you want to do is you want to pull down ever so slightly so just prop the tone arm up with your thumb and with marginal force pull it down and pull away from the tone arm. And that'll get it removed. So next thing you want to do is just go ahead and make sure this stays safe in case you want it back. I probably won't, but you know what? We will put this on anyway. Sorry about the focus again. And we're gonna drop this. It's going to be a bit of a temperamental process, you have to be a bit patient with it. But it will be worth it in the long run in case you actually damage it. And I think that's almost on there. There we go. Just slide that on and like that. And it will be just... We can set it off to one side, I'd like to put mine in the corner. So let's take our new one. Take off the... Uh, protector. This might be latched on because just a bit of force to take off. I've got greasy hands at the moment. And try not to touch the needle because you don't want to damage that. And you want to kind of reverse what you did when you put the last one on. This can require a little bit of concentration, but don't worry. It's pretty unlikely that you're going to damage it because these things can be a bit robust. So what I did there was just kind of found like a point to where it matches up. It should kind of like click into like a little latch on the bottom. You'll you'll feel it when you do it. Um, and you want to try and zoom in. That's the terrible focus. That's better. Okay. Um, and you want to push. Oh, that's me touching the needle. Try not to do that. Push upwards and you there should be no gap between the cartridge and the top of the turn arm at all it's okay if it's literally a points of millimeters that's pretty normal but now you have an installed cartridge on your tone arm so just keep your old one safe and in theory you should be able to just uh, keep it spinning like that so that should be all. Um, if there's any problems, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. Again, I'm literally a starter with vinylets anyway. But thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, share the video with your friends. I'm almost at 200 subs, which I'm amazed by. Uh, we've got a lot of growth over the past four years, four or five years, um, which I'm very happy with. So I'd like to thank you guys for that. Um, but I'll see you in the next one.